Hello folks, Larry Hofstrom here with Saving Local History. You're getting ready to see a find of a lifetime live dig while I was using the XP-2 metal detector. We didn't get to do an introduction, so let me just give you a very brief summary of how our day went. Since it had been nearly a year, I guess, since Alex Lambert and I had detected together, we decided to do a little relic hunt and a lot of scouting to check out some of the sites that we've been researching. At the first site, Alex found a you know, a few flat buttons and a couple of bullets and some odds and ends with his Equinox 800. I didn't do near as well myself. I did find a silver fork and some odds and ends, but you know, we tried hard, we just wasn't finding anything. On top of that, I was having all kind of camera trouble and I was getting really distracted and aggravated with that. So uh, as the day went on, we decided, you know, let's go check out another site we've researched and recently gotten permission to detect. This time I had my camera problems all worked out. Well, every now and then, you know, your research, your experience, knowing your detector and luck converges into one spot. That's what happened to me today. At the very far reaches of this new site, I got a great signal. Well, you need to watch the video to see how it unfolded. On our way back from vehicles, Alex also got a real good signal and he found a very rare find himself. We didn't get to detect this site very long at all, but I guarantee the next time we get together, we'll explore it again. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You know, we really appreciate your support. So get ready for a little excitement. I'm going to start out by showing you the way I had my XP Deus 2 set up to help you out if you're just now learning the detector. So let's get after it. Well, here's the program I've put together for the XP Deus 2 today in this iron infested, hopefully Civil War site. Of course, I've got the XY screen on, got discrimination set to 10, got notch 0, got silencer 2, I got it set to pitch, and I got it set 524 kilohertz, and bottle cap projections 5. Sensitivity, I've got it 92. Frequency shift 1, iron volume 1, reactivity 3, audio response 4, and the threshold 5. But as it gets more windy today, I'll probably have to raise that. And that's basically it. And right now I'm just calling it the G2 program until I come up with a better name. So let's see if I can do any good with it. Alex finally got on the scoreboard here with a nice flat button. Oh, yeah. Got the shank on the back. Yeah, there. shank. Red just like a bullet. Good deal. Maybe we're getting on to something. Maybe so. We've covered a lot of ground. Yeah. 96. Let's see what this high signal is. Oh Lord, Alex, you won't come look at this? I don't know yet, but I, I it's half uncovered. Folks, we might have something here. You gotta see this, it's partially uncovered. It might be something fooling me. Folks, look what we got in the hole here. Let's see it. Oh, sh <laughs> What are you thankful we even look? I think that's a CSA. You think so? I feel pretty confident. Oh, Lord have mercy, folks. <laughs> yeah! What do you think about this? Still got all three hooks on it. Like the other one I found. Great. Dave. Hey, right here. <laughs> that is incredible. What do you think about that? I mean, oh, wow. Phenomenal. What do you think about that? <laughs> Great. Dave, it's in excellent shape. Oh, what'd that read on there? 99. That's awesome, dude. Blue red That's from incredible. the top of the... That's incredible. Still, I think the XP day has just paid for itself. <sighs> That's incredible. Can I get a picture of that right there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's how you talk about a video and a half. Well, you just think. It might not be the only one here. Maybe not. 
folks. That's what relic hunting's all about. Folks, my battery went dead and I see something in this hole. Fire and bullet. It's in a rock. Can't tell if it's, I believe it's an infield. Yeah, it looks like maybe a fired infield. I can't tell till I clean it. It's what we'll say it is. Saving local history. Just dug that little piece of lead off camera. Out here in the clay. A cuff button on top of that. Mm, it's got a V in it. I can't see it if I... There you go. Still got the shank, don't it? Mm-hmm. That's a Confederate Eagle, too. It's <laughs> like the only the second two-piece buttons come out here we can identify. Yeah. It's got a V on it. Voltaires or yeah. Voltigares or something like that. Yeah, there you go. What about that? Alex on the scoreboard with a Confederate button. About time. Well, folks, here's a photo of me just minutes after finding the plate, and there's some photos of it after I got most of the dirt off of it. And here's what it looked like uh, just right after it came out of the hole. You can see the green patina in the dirt. Here's Alex holding it with the CSA side facing up. And here he is holding it, showing the hooks on the back. This is just minutes after it was found. Well, folks, I'm going to attempt to... Clean a little bit off of this back plate with a toothpick. And I'm gonna try to video some of it. Here's the back of it. You can see it still has all the hooks intact. I hope that camera's focusing. So I'm gonna just very gently start taking some of this off with a toothpick rather than water. Been a long time since I found a CSA plate, so hopefully I can figure out how to clean it. Guess this is a find of a lifetime. I've been very fortunate to find two so far. How many years this has been in the ground? At least probably 156 or seven years. Yes, this is something you don't get a whole lot of practice cleaning, typically. Do a little bit of the front, see what's happening. It's a Lannistall belt buckle, or belt plate. Here's I can tell. Guess one thing makes these buckles valuable is the fact they were only made for a few years. Like 1861 through 64, maybe in 65, I don't know. It's starting to take shape. Like I said, I don't want to clean it to death. Still got a lot on the back, though. Well, folks, there's what it's looking like. Just rinsed it off just a little bit. And that's what we've got. 
got the CSA with a nice curvature to it. I could probably clean it a little bit more, but that's all I'm going to do to it, I think. That one hook's got a little holler spot in it there. Must have been from the casting. Folks, I'll get back if I do something else to it. Folks, I dug the other plate out that I found years ago. That's this bottom one. They look very close to the same. This one had some of the black enamel paint still on it. This one didn't. Here's the backs of them. It's got big pronounced hooks. It's got a little bit smaller hooks that are mashed down. So I don't know if they're Maybe one's a Virginia type or one's, I know this is Atlanta Arsenal style, this one probably is too. So that's what I've came up with. Two CSA plates in southwest Virginia. I've hunted out sites, no doubt. So that's what they look like. Well, folks, that was a story of my once-in-a-lifetime CSA belt plate live dig. You also got to see the very rare voltage sure cuff button that Alex found. If you want to succeed at relic hunting, you've got to do a lot of research. You've got to be very lucky. You may want to check out one of my recent videos where I talked about 27 of my favorite research tips. After all, that's what led to the discovery of this side into this CSA belt plate. Thanks so much for watching.